LA has the biggest ocean in their backyard and they have to get water from the Colorado River. What am I talking about? Stick around, I'll tell you all about it. And I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel. And we're also going to be talking about the Flaming Gorge Navajo tonight. It's something new that people have been requesting. Blue Mesa, like me, like Pal, and Blue Mesa, and everything that you need to know. So if you think this is worthy of a like, please consider doing so. And with that being said, we are rolling right out to the Flaming Gorge Reservoir. And at the Flaming Gorge, the current water level is 6,018.81 feet MSL Sunday. May 1st, 2022, the level is 21.19 feet below full pool of 6,040, so it's not too far off the mark. And the Bureau of Reclamation, they're saying that the inflows are negative 34,541 and your total releases are 851. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but nothing's changed as far as elevation, so I can't see that that's correct. Surely not. Your storage acre feet of capacity is 2,870,123 acre feet and your total releases are 851 and this was taken May 1st as well. Flaming Gorge is actually up 1.28 feet from the water low. Flaming Gorge is down 6.66 feet from one year ago and that is what's going on at the Flaming Gorge as far as that. Let's go check out the Flaming Gorge temperature. Flaming Gorge current water temperature is 52 degrees. Today's forecast is mostly cloudy throughout the day with a high around 66 and a low around 40. Winds out of the south southwest at 9 miles per hour with gusts up to 22 miles per hour so it's going to be very gusty. The current air temperature as I'm making this is 52 degrees and your winds are out of the east at 9 with gusts up to 22 and we are going over to Lake Navajo. As we roll over to Lake Navajo your current water level 6,023.84 feet. The level is 61.16 feet below full pool of 6,085 and this thing is on the increase compared to last year you can see that it has increased quite a bit and your changes since yesterday 0.63 it is on the increase so that's good news navajo's inflows are 2214 your outflows are 297 so they're not releasing much and navajo is down 9.79 feet from one year ago and lake navajo is up 6.17 from the low for the year so you've almost made up what you lost you're only about three feet away from making up the loss from last year so that's good news and by content lake navajo is 53 percent of full pool so that's good news and we'll go check the water temperature at lake navajo in case you want to go fishing or something lake navajo's current water temperature is 58 degrees today's forecast is clear throughout the day with a high around 70 and a low around 43 winds are out of the west and with gusts of 22 miles per hour your current air temperature at this time is 62 degrees winds out of the west and gusts 22 miles per hour we are going over to blue mesa blue mesa reservoir water levels 7439.32 feet and this was taken sunday may 1st 2022 level is 79.68 feet below pool full of 7519 changes since yesterday 0.68 feet and we go check the inflows versus the outflows your inflows are currently 1,545, your outflows are 608, your storage capacities 254,159. Blue Mesa's current water temperature is 45 degrees. Today's forecast is clear throughout the day with a high around 64 and a low around 38. Winds are out of the west at 9 miles per hour with gusts up to 23. Your current air temperature is 63, winds 9 to 23 mile an hour gusts currently. We are going down to Lake Powell next. Lake Powell's current water level is 3,522.71 feet MSL Sunday, May 1st, 2022. The level is 177.29 feet below pool pool 3,700. Changes since yesterday, 0.2 feet. Your inflows currently are 7,552. Your outflows are 9,307. So they're releasing more than what they're taking in. 
one and oh, the snowpack 71 percent in the rockies in case anybody is wondering so it's really starting to lose its mustard and with the lake being currently 23.79 percent of full there's still a staggering one trillion eight hundred eighty five billion six hundred and ninety million four hundred and eighty eight thousand nine hundred and seventy two gallons in lake pal so even at 23 percent this thing holds a tremendous amount of water the lake may be low but the lake's definitely holding back a lot of water still even at this point and lake pal is down 39.55 feet from one year ago today but lake pal is also up 0.47 feet from the water low so lake pal's current water temperature 65 degrees today's forecast is clear throughout the day with the high around 83 and a low around 47 winds are out of the west southwest at 7 miles per hour with gusts up to 22 miles per hour so it could be a little choppy like all the other lakes 68 degrees is your current temperature and your current wind speeds are around 7 with gusts around 22 so down to lake mead we go lake mead's current water level is 1054.40 feet msl monday may 2nd 2022 at 1 p the level is 174.60 feet below full pool of 1,229 changes since yesterday 0.25 feet this thing is on the decrease and we will go check the inflows versus the outflows next your inflows are currently 10,880 your outflows are 15,600 this is why the lake is on the decrease and Lake Mead is down 24.52 feet from one year ago today Lake Mead is also at a water low of 13.54 from the high and Lake Mead has also released 5,025,000 475 acre feet this is 55.84 percent of the minimum now this is the key part the minimum required of 9 million acre feet and they release 5 million so you still have four more million to release by rule so people are like well it's draining on purpose but really honestly they have to release 9 million acre feet it is a requirement and minimum being the minimum means that they could possibly release more than 9 million and they have and they had in the past just because there's a drought that don't mean that they won't so even with them releasing 9 million acre feet last year they released like 9.5 million acre feet so it makes you wonder where that extra 500,000 went to and why they needed it now they only have to but the thing is they are getting super super close they are 4.55 feet away from losing Hoover Dam has 17 turbines that generate electricity five of those have been upgraded to newer more efficient models that can run at lower water levels than the previous original turbines the 12 turbines have not been upgraded and cannot function when the water level is below 1050 so with today's level of 1054.55 feet we are literally 4.55 feet away from losing 12 turbines and at this rate at 0.25 you are not very far away from losing power you are days away at this rate this thing continues to drop and like i just said they they already leased five million acres and they still have four more million acres i'm sure that four feet is within that nine million buffer zone so by july you probably are going to lose 12 power plants ladies and gentlemen this is insane this is absurd and i can't believe that they have not figured out ways to conserve water releasing 9 million acre feet a year and the thing is is you're releasing more than what's coming in and at some point you have to turn the tap off and just say suck it up buttercup this is what we got the problem is you have 25 million people out there relying on this lake so what do you do and the biggest problem is 12 of those 25 million people are in california in the la area that rely on this water strictly so la has the biggest ocean in their backyard and they have to get water from the Colorado River. What is going on with this world? This is crazy. How come they can't figure this stuff out for the love of God? I'm off my soapbox. Let's see what the water temperature is down at Lake Mead. Lake Mead, current water temperature 65 degrees. Today's forecast is clear throughout the day with a high around 93 and a low around 60. Winds are out of the south-southwest at 9 miles per hour with gusts of 31 miles per hour. So if you are on the lake, oh, Lord almighty, that's crazy. And your air temperature currently 77 
degrees, 9 to 31 miles per hour. And that's all I have for tonight. I was going to go to windy.com, but this video has gotten really long. So we'll be back soon with another Lake Mead update. Thank you guys for stopping by. Leave your comments down below and don't forget to share this with everybody and let them know. And that's all I have for tonight. God bless and we'll see you on the next one.